Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to turn the high altitude setting on and off on this new Keurig K Express coffee maker. This just came out and is sold exclusively at Walmart. So if you live someplace like Denver at a really high elevation, they want you to put this in a high altitude setting. So it comes standard with not in the high altitude setting. So if you want to put it in the high altitude setting when you first buy it, you're going to have to turn the unit off. So leave it plugged in, but off. You don't want any of the lights on. Then you're going to hold the power button and the 8 ounce button. So we're going to hold the power button and the 8 ounce button at the same time. And the 10 ounce is going to, this light's going to come on. That's going to confirm that we're in high altitude mode. So one, two, three. Okay. So the 10 ounce light came on. That means we're in high altitude mode. Now I can just turn the unit on and I'm in high altitude mode. That's the only way I'm going to know. Now, let's say I want to make sure I'm in low altitude, which is probably for the majority of, of Keurig machines. So turn the unit off again, make sure it's still plugged in. You're going to do the same procedure, but instead of the 10 ounce light coming on, the six ounce light's going to come on. So let's hold the 10, or no, the 8, and the power button at the same time. After 3 seconds, okay, I had to start over there. So make sure the unit is off. Again, you're going to hold this, the power button and the 8 ounce. And here's what's going to happen. So, it's, so see how the 6 came on and it's going to go off. That just confirmed we're in low altitude. Now I can repeat this and it'll go, the 10 ounce light will come on. That means we're in high altitude. There's the, there's the 10 comes on and off. That means we're in high altitude and I can repeat it again and it'll go back to low altitude. That's the only way you're going to know that you're in low altitude. So once you're in high altitude mode, I'm not sure why, maybe it has something to do with the pressure. So see how Keurig cups are under pressure. And I think that pressure maybe increases when you're um, in high altitude or something. But they want you to pierce the bottom yourself. So when you've got the mode in high altitude, they want you to come up here and poke it down yourself. Again, I'm not 100% sure why they want you to do that. And then they want you to close it normally like a normal Keurig. But when it's in low altitude, you let the machine do the work. You just set the K-cup in here and close the handle and it'll pierce the top and the bottom. Thanks everybody for watching. My next video is going to be a descale, how to descale the machine when the descale light comes on. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.